uh, Troy Young with Oakwood Controls. We design and manufacture electronic target systems in uh, South Central Pennsylvania. Uh, this is our HBAR LOMA system. LOMA stands for Location of Miss and Hit. Uh, you're actually seeing the H-bar here. This is our aiming point, which is obviously an E silhouette. Cool thing about a Loma system is it actually has a six foot by six foot window that will detect the supersonic round going down range, whether you hit the aiming point or not. Uh, gives you the ability to walk yourself back into the sweet spot. Down range, you're gonna set the H-bar in place, uh, level it up, then there is a wireless radio that would attach to the shot box here. We typically set that out to the side and then a rechargeable battery. Once you do that, that's pretty much all you do downrange. The H-bar itself weighs about 15 pounds. As you come back to the firing line, you'll actually have another wireless radio called an access point. That is what the H-bar communicates with, and on the firing line, you take your computer and you hook up to that access point wirelessly. So as you send your round down range, again, it has to be supersonic. The sensors actually detect the round, the sound wave propagating from the round as it goes through. The shot box times that information and then sends it back to the computer that then displays the shot that was sent downrange. So this is the software, this is the shoot screen for the software showing you each shot and the X and Y rate of fire and a score. So this shows all five shots and their X and Ys. And then you also have group statistics, which is your, your center of your X and Y for the group, your group size, bounding box, rate of fire, score, mean radius. You can put notes into uh, this group session that will explain it. You can put what gun, how much wind, that kind of stuff. Um, you can also change your units from centimeters, inches, MOA, and mil. And we also have a save session option and a save screen option. When you save screen, it'll actually save a picture of the screen and you can save it into a folder for review after the fact.